We are making an MMO from JavaScript from the ground up, and we are porting this from Heroku servers to Google App Engine. <clears throat> We're making more robust environment detection in this video. So in the environment detection section, we've added this new section, are we in Heroku App Server? This is going to detect if we are in a Heroku environment. We need this precondition here to make sure we're in a server environment before we check for these Heroku specific variables. If we can't find any of these Heroku specific variables, then we're not in a Heroku environment. The not Heroku variable is going to be the inverse of the yes Heroku variable. Here's some monkey wrench macros. In the server section of code, the a server function section, we have added some more robust code to the private executor function that is getting the contents of Atomic IV MMO. So the actual file we're in, this function is going to deliver the contents of that file. So if we go down here, we can see we have this branch of code for if it's a Google environment, and now we have this branch of code for if we are in a Heroku environment. And both of these Google and Heroku environments they both can access the system hard disk, so we gave them a one. If it's something that we don't know of, we'll just assume the best for now. Maybe uh, change that decision later in the future, but for now, I think it's okay. And oh, and also, let's go back here for a second. So this right here was, um, well, we added this. This is new, but then in this a server get web root function. Oh, here we go. Here it is. <clears throat> so in a server get web root in this who the fuck do you think you are section, this was originally one equals one. In the previous video, it was one equals one, and that wasn't very robust. So now we're checking for explicitly a Heroku environment before we do this Heroku-specific concatenation to create the web, re web root URL that you would be seeing... Uh, right here, this is the web u root URL for the Heroku app. Okay, so with that said, that's everything. Here's what we did previously. Here's our footnotes. Here's what we've done in this video. And if you want a longer explanation, go here. You are here. Source code is here. So you've been on video 358. Like, subscribe.